Okay, so welcome back to the AM show. I'm going to talk to some people who are coming from a school and they want me to push all my kids to the school because they say that if I don't push them to the school, my kids will forgive me. But we'll, we'll see about that. Well, on Thursday, November 16, 2023, the Old Achimotan Association, OAA, will uh, host the Achimota Speaks event on the topic, Ghana, a country in crisis, defining a new economic direc direction. And uh, we have, so that's the flyer you see on your TV, the, your screen there. We have Na Hassan and Danny as one of the speakers, Professor Yao Nyako as one of the speakers, Frank Edu is also one of the speakers. Uh, we have Nana Dr. SKB Asante. Uh, so I derived my SKB from Dr. <laughs> Asante's name there. And uh, we have, I think, uh, is a Kofi Finn there. And Bella Mundi will be moderating the section. Well, we have in the studio executives of the OAA uh, to tell us more about this particular event. In the studio, we have Accra Joel Nete, is OAA president. That's him there. Uh, and I have Accra Kwesi Oku says he loves to fight. <laughs> chairman, Achimota Speaks Planning Committee. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, so chairman. Thank you very much. So let me start with you, Accra Joan and, and if we hear about Achimota Speaks, what is it? Re tell us about that platform. Okay, so the name Achimota will suggest something for Achimotas, but let, mm. me, let me try and clarify. Mm. Achimota Speaks started, what, six so, years ago? Yeah. Mm. When Achimota turned 90. Okay. And as part of the 90th anniversary celebration, we came up with a platform that run monthly. Mm. I'll tell you a little bit about the platform, the reason for the platform. Okay. When we leave Achimoto School, mm. as we leave, we are enjoined to go out as living waters to a thirsty land. Okay. Now that essentially means for everything that you've gained out of Achimota, go and be helpful to the world. Okay. Now the first part of your world, the most captive part is your country, Ghana. Mm -hmm. yes? mm -hmm. So in thinking, in, in, at the 90th anniversary, in thinking of what can we do to impact, positively impact Ghana, we thought it's important that we create this platform where we can have conversations about the things that are salient to Ghana. Mm. So today is economic crisis. In March, we spoke about education. We've spoken about several topics. In um, the 19th anniversary year, we did one every single month. Mm. And from there, we decided, OK, you know what? Let's break this, this thing down and do it twice a year. So that's okay. what we're doing now. Mm. So it's a platform by Achimotans. Mm. as a platform that allows Ghanaians everywhere, mm. from every school, okay. in any part of the economy, whatever your, your challenges mm. are, to have a conversation about critical things okay. that matter to Ghana. So even those of us from Badubo and Sosin High Technical School can be on have the Have a platform. front seat. Okay. And can, can be panelists, can be keynote okay. speakers. Say you have something to say, say. come okay. and say it on Achimotans Speaks. Okay. Next time, please, let's bring in a, a, a Badubo and Sosin High Technical School. You're welcome. Okay. We'll think about but, it. So, so, so what really does the platform hope to achieve? Like I said, it's, it's, mm. it's, a, it's a platform for conversations. Okay. I mean, there are so many things that are critical to this country. Mm. So many ways, and there are different people everywhere who may have an idea, who may have a possible solution. Mm. It's important that these conversations are had so that together we can mm. forge okay. a solid um, path for our country. Okay. So this really is a platform <clears throat> for conversations that will impact Ghana. Okay. I guess the first one did. Let me come to uh, Accra Okon. Right. <laughs> Why this topic at this time of the of of of, the, of day in Ghana's history? Yes, that's a very good uh, mm. good question because it's it's something that we went through mm. <clears throat> quite a, a bit. Looking for something to talk, talk about is the hardest part of our children's speaks mm. because there's lots of problems mm. <laughs> everywhere. And as Joseph said, we've talked about land, we've talked about education, we've talked about industrialization. The question now is. What is it that is really the topmost things that we should be having a conversation about? And we thought, obviously, we're in a crisis. We're in a crisis. <laughs> it's the economy. Stupid. Mm. Mm. So uh, we decided that let's see what people want to hear, and what they want to say about what we need to be doing. Mm. Not about what we've done or what we're doing now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but what is it that we need to be doing to come out of where we are. Mm. Mm. So we need prescriptions. Okay. I'm sure you have yours. Mm. Joel has his. But this is a forum provided by the OAA. So everybody who comes there will have a chance to say what he thinks ought to be done. But not just <clears throat> come and say what they need. To be led by people with brains, people yeah. who have good thoughts, who have learned the top mm. topic, who live it and can direct us to have a proper conversation. Mm. And we hope 
as with all our smaller speeds, mm. that whatever we say is being heard by the right people. Mm. So it will filter into their minds when they're making their decisions. Mm. Because after all, it's, it's our lives. Okay. So we should have a part, in a say in what we want to live in in this country. Okay. So that's why we have your children speak mm. at this time. Okay. You have about is it five speakers or so, and these are I, at least I know Nan Dani and Dr. S K B Asante well a bit because they've been in the national space for Correct. some time now. What kind of perspective should we expect from your, your speakers, Joel? Okay. So just before I come okay. to that, I just want to add yeah. add um, mm -hmm. a little something to what Accra was saying. In arriving at the topic, mm. once again, we sample. And this, we ask the question, why are nation in crisis? Are we in crisis? That, that topic actually came as feedback from the people we sampled. Okay. What should we be talking about? And consistently, we're talking about the financial crisis. We are in crisis. We are in crisis. And that's we have what, dialysis so it, crisis. So it's a group. We have a say crisis. Of, of <laughs> what the, the people mm. who were spoken to mm. said. And that's why that topic, is for me, is most so critical. Mm. But your point about who's speaking, once mm. again, format. The format of Achimoto Speaks is it's led by a keynote speaker. Okay. And then after that, it's broken down into a moderated discussion. Mm. So our keynote speaker for this particular Achimoto Speaks event is Professor Yao Nyako. Professor Yao Nyako is a celebrated economist from okay. the New York University, okay. awarded. So we're expecting that he would bring, of course, an international perspective, mm. but more importantly, a locally relevant perspective mm. to the conversation around our economy and what we need to do, what okay. changes we need to make. Mm. Of course, like Akroko said, analyzing where we've got, come from, where we are, to be able to determine where we where should we. go. Mm. So once he's done with his 45-minute keynote, mm. he then joins a very eminent panel. You mentioned Alas, um, not, uh, Bishop nah, Ulana, Alasana, nah, Alasana Alasana Dani. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Mr. Frank Edu, you mentioned Mr. Kofi Fen. Mm -hmm. These are all people in the throes of the economy and stuff that we need to get. Lots of experience. Mm -hmm. And so they then are going to come sit with Professor Anyako and have a conversation. Okay. Once that's done, we then throw it to the audience. So we've invited everybody. We've invited the ministry, we've invited um, the the economic Not management team. Management <laughs> every stakeholder okay. and every Ghanaian who cares to come in there and ask these eminent people questions. So for us, it's not just come and stand at the podium and speak at us. Okay. But we get a chance to engage, to question whatever you're asking question. us to go do. Yeah. So together, we will walk away from that event on Thursday. That Thursday is tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow is. With, a, with, with a sense. I mean, I don't think that it's going to be a solution, be or end all solution in one day. Mm. But we're going to start a conversation that will give us all a sense as to what are some of the things mm. that we need to consider. Should, thinking about Should we stop certain things? Should we start certain things? Are there things that we're doing that we need to do better at? Are there things that we're not doing at all that we should consider? Should we copy with pride what other people are doing in other economies? Mm. What is going to be the best thing for Ghana to go forward? Okay. That's the most important thing. Nana's KBR Sante is more on leadership. Is that what he brings to the he table? He's lots of everything. He's chairing the function. So he's okay. like a panelist. He brings okay. that, but he's done leadership. He's mm. a lawyer. He's, he's, he comes with mm. a lot of a lot parameters. Of, yes. okay. So he's coming. He's going to help steer the occasion. Mm. Mm. But he's chairing. chairing the because when, when I heard you about the economy, you know, a lot of people have said that whatever is happening, leadership also has a big role. Oh, to definitely. Uh -huh. So when I heard the other guys, I thought that, well, so Nana is coming in there to look at what leadership can do, yes. you know, in all of that. But what do you expect to happen after the event tomorrow? Well, that is uh, <laughs> between you and me and him and everybody else. Mm. As I said, we hope that the people who need to make decisions mm. are listening and will have a good quality input into their thoughts. Mm. So we will not be able to say that Mr. X minister is saying this because of actual speaks, mm. but we know he would have heard. Okay. And it would have impacted on his thinking mm. and it will take part in whatever he decides he's going to talk about. Mm. This is what we are hoping will happen tomorrow after we've, uh, we've said all that there needs to be mm. said. The audience have put in all their input. So it's not just that us on the panel that are saying uh, mm. what we need to say. It's the whole country yeah. that's giving them advice on what we end want them to, do, to think mm. about. And when mm. it's done, we'll put it together in a document uh -huh. and we'll present that document mm -hmm. to the people that matter, like the mm -hmm. management team, mm -hmm. or for, party. Normally, for yeah. instance. What the one thing that for us, we, want, we, we would hope mm. that it won't go down into a political conversation. Mm. Because where we are today is really a result of successful Too much politics. Yeah. And politics. Yeah. It's not an NDC conversation, it's not an MPP an conversation. conversation. It's not this president or that president. Whatever it is, as a people, we are where we are. Where are okay. we going? Where are we going? What do we need to do to move forward? So we're going to have that document. We're going to put it together. And we're going to leave it and give it to everybody who matters. 
hopefully it will inform whatever strategies they come up with. Mm. We cannot be in all the rooms all the time when these conversations are happening, but if there's a document that everybody that has been collated, people have spoken to, ideas are, are out present on there, hopefully they will consult that document mm. and take their decision. Hopefully, hopefully for generations we can go back and say, look, this conversation that started here, this is where how far we've been able to come, this is what else we need to do to move it forward. Mm. So like I keep saying, for us, it's important. It's an important conversation. It's a thought starter. Let's build on it. Let's start that conversation tomorrow. And as a people, let's rally behind it. Let's build on it. Mm. And let's together move away from where we are today. Mm. So to sum it up, we are sowing the seed. Okay. And we are going to watch it grow by giving mm. all the okay. support that we need to make sure that it rises mm. up to the surface. Well, people say Ghana is a country that loves to talk. We talk a lot, put fine ideas on paper, but when it comes to doing implementation, that's where the challenge is. So how confident are we that whatever we're going to say, whatever you put on paper and present to whoever, will really find a space on a table where the decisions are made? We'll push it. I can't be confident that anybody will listen, mm -hmm. but it won't be for want of trying. Mm. We will, that's what I say, it's not to one person. We'll send it to all the people. We'll publish it. And we'll have as many conversations as we need to have to make sure that people are, in, to improve the chances that people will listen. Mm. We can't take a whip and go to people and say, mm -hmm. you didn't listen to Arthur, you didn't, no, that's not what it is. Mm. But I have, as many times as we need to talk, as many times as we need to talk to the right people, as many times as we need to start conversations that will point us in that direction, we are committed. Achimoto Speaks is committed to doing this. Mm. And let me add to, to it that this is not a one-off issue. It's mm. not a one-off conversation. Okay. As, as, as Joel said a little before, each year from now until our 100th anniversary, we'll be doing at least two Atmuna Speaks a year. We'll go through the same thing about what we should be talking about. Okay. Don't be surprised that we find that we need to come back. On the crisis. To, to the crisis. Mm. Or it to the economy. Be. It may not be a crisis at the time, yeah. but the economy. the economy. So whatever is relevant at that, at that time. In time. Yeah. Because Achimoto is an <clears> educational <throat> institution, and given what you and I both know about mm. how terrible the state of our educational system is right now. We will always have an educational topic every year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, we will always look for what is the most topical. So if for the next three years, for the next five years, mm -hmm. the economy is the most important thing, we will That's hammer on this topic back on. until somebody listens. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said it's open to the public. It is. Mm -hmm. And it's happening where? Once again, when you said the 16th, I'm like, okay, yeah, 16th may seem very far away. Yes, to just tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> <November>. Thursday. <laughs> And it starts at 6, 6 p.m. at Chimotan time. What that means is that we are going live at 6 p.m. Okay. So I'm admonishing everybody. I'm encouraging everybody. Come at 5. Come at 5.15. Let's network. Let's start the conversations before the conversation. Mm. So that it even informs some of the questions and yeah. things that will come. So come early, anytime from 5. But be seated by 5.45. Because at 6 o'clock live, we will start. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I should do a bit more of the economy with you. I mean, we're going to start, isn't it? <laughs> Well, let, let, let's, let's start the discussion. Okay, there. okay, happy to. Happy to try. I'm not okay. expert, but happy to try. I mean, you've been in the economy. Mm. <clears throat> what would you say is the main challenge with Ghana's economy today? I think that we're generally... Once again, you went, you went back to the question about leadership. So we'll have a conversation about leadership. Mm. They, say, they say leadership is cause everything else's effect, okay? Yeah. So in terms of decisions, what we should do, what we shouldn't do, I think it starts, it starts with leadership. Secondly, I think that if you go down back to the smallest measure of an economy, you look at your home, okay? Mm. When you are spending more than you are making, making you have a crisis. Mm. I think generally that's where, where we are as a people. Our expenditure generally exceeds our, our revenues. Mm. You have to ask yourself a question, and today they're reading the budget, interestingly, in terms of government revenue, where does government revenue come from? Typically, it's been the six, seven, 25 of us who pay the revenue without expanding the, the tax net. Tax net. Mm. Okay, so is that a place to start? And whilst you're doing that, what's government expenditure like? If we are spent, we're traveling, we are going on all kinds of unnecessary trips and mm. paying per diems and paying hotel bills, and we know what the issues are. So mm. for me, it's, that's where you start. And then, of course, you take the business decisions in terms of what brings in revenue. Do we should be a little more agro-based? Are we supporting agriculture? All of those things will come in. Mm. But it's, for me, the, the, the basic, the smallest, the, the least common denominator mm. is expenditure over mm. income. Let's, let's mm. hold that first. Okay. And then let's figure out how mm. to improve our revenues mm. so that we don't have to worry about 
um, um, exchange rates and worry about it. Okay. All of those things. Mm. Once we start earning more than we are spending, once we start able to generate income, it improves our, our chances of success as, a, as an economy. Mm. So but, I'll, but I'll leave the economists to opine on that. Uh, to who? I'll leave the economists to give you more. Uh, to, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to say that uh, if you look at the Maslow uh, triangle of needs, need. yeah, uh, need, uh, the hierarchy of needs, uh, what just, just, just has talked about is we are right at the bottom. However, we need to make opportunities for us to rise. Mm. Everybody is suffering, yes, but it's the economy governance that is giving us the biggest problem. Okay. We are not producing enough revenue to go around. And yet our expenditure is always rising. Mm -hmm. And it will always rise. Mm -hmm. So we need to do more to create revenue, even for everybody downstairs. It means we need jobs. I mean, mm. we've said this over and over and over again. Mm. So the structure of the economy mm. is what I would lo like the, the people who are in charge to look at. To look at. If we don't go strictly on improving industrialization so that people get jobs mm. and they get revenue and they can pay their taxes. We can't talk about paying taxes when already what they are getting, they can't survive yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You I'm? So we've mm. got to give them something to live on and then to, it, it's almost extra, mm. although it is something you have to do. So my thing is on the structure of the economy. Okay. We have to look at how is it balanced. We are not doing enough to give people jobs and revenue. That's what I like them to concentrate. Mm. We've always said that a great case, like the backbone of this economy, but we've done very little mm -hmm. on it. See, the pottery industry, according to the players, can create one million jobs. Mm. If we do, then do it well. I went to a pottery farm uh, some days back, and I was, I was wowed by what I saw. I was like, wow. If we get about 1,000 of this here, we don't need to export any pottery product into the country. Mm. Today, Ghanaian farmers are growing a lot of rice, mm. and delicious rice. Nigeria, their rice is not as good as ours, but mm. that's what they, they want. They say when you go to Kenya, their rice is not good, but you will you have to settle. Yeah. 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 Why can't we take such decisions to say, good. let's eat what we grow here? Yeah. Yeah. For example, for rice, yeah. if we're importing 100%, okay, we're going to do 30% of importation, 70% farmers do it. Good. Correct. Those who go out there and import it, take, give, give the money, sign contract with the farmers, let them produce for you. Yeah. Correct. Today, we have processors, a lot of them, scattered across the country. Yeah. Why aren't we giving? Because, look, if the processor is employing 100 people and is producing, say, 5,000 bucks a month. If his production capacity increases mm -hmm. to say 500,000, it means that he has to multiply those people by over how much? Absolutely. And that's jobs we're creating. It creates jobs, absolutely. But Nigeria took the decision. Why, why is it that we can't take the it's decision? It's not rocket that? science. It's not rocket science. It's just the will to take the right decisions for the betterment of the whole, as opposed to a few people who want to benefit. It's, mm -hmm. it, that's what it is. Yes. We do, it's not, I don't think it's because we don't know. We know. It's in books. We see it. We read it. Mm -hmm. We know what we're going to do. But we need to have the will to say, we know we're in a bad place. We've got to cut. We've got to do the right thing. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not rocket science. No athlete will succeed if he does not do. Oh my God. But, but, but I mean, hearing that is not difficult, yet we're not doing it. In my mind, is that, are we, why can't we do it when it's not, it's not difficult for us to do? Our neighbors in Nigeria did it. Why can't we Ghana do it? Because it's, it comes back to leadership, isn't it? Yes. You need somebody who says, listen, this is where we need to go. Everybody tighten your belt. And these Let's are the go. things that we need to do. Yeah. And I'm going to lead by example. And I'm going to show you how it is that it's done. All of you follow me. Yeah. Look, this is not going to happen overnight. We're not just no, going no, to no, wake yes, up yes, one yes. day. Yeah. So we have to all be prepared for a certain mm -hmm. amount of difficulty. And work harder. But there has to be a plan. Yes. So if we say, you say, look, tighten your belt. And we are all tightening our belts. And we know that this is the plan we are tightening our belts for 10 years, for instance. Mm, yeah. But this is the plan, and in 10 years, this is what it will look like. Mm. I'm sure most people will look at yeah. it and say, okay. And by the way, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not the easy. masses to tighten their belts. Yeah. And we look up. And we can't see anything. Uh, you are not tightening yours. <laughs> yeah. And it's difficult to say, you say tighten your belt. Okay. So and, 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 and as I said, it's, 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 let's not get the idea that it's easy. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's easy to talk about. Mm. Yeah. It's not easy. Mm. It's the balancing. It's the structure. If we say what you said now and want to do it, and yet we're saying that we need more taxes, and therefore we make the inputs for making what you want yeah. more difficult, Expensive. where are we going? Exactly, nowhere. So it's a balancing. Mm. It is why we need experts who know we tighten here, we lose here, we tighten here, because the objective is to get 
more production into the country, get more jobs, and people okay. get more revenue. Okay. Then we can talk about taking more tax. Okay. And we've got to but be not very absent. deliberate mm. about it. It's mm. not. It has it's not deliberate. Okay. We've got to be. So, so this is something of what's going to happen at the Achimota Speaks tomorrow, yes. and that we've started it, and <laughs> that's how it's going to be. So, be there. Let your uh, your viewpoint be heard about the economy. What ought to happen for us to achieve what really we have to to ensure that we build this Ghana together. Just before we wrap up, your last words, and then we can say. My last words, I'd like to reiterate that this is an Achimota generated platform, an Achimota created platform, but it's a platform for everybody. Okay. So when you hear the, the, the topic or the platform Achimota speaks, it's not an Achimotans, Achimotans mm -hmm. gathering to have a conversation. This is a platform where everybody who okay. cares about everything Ghana mm -hmm. is invited mm -hmm. and hopefully will attend. Okay. Let's come together, let's be on time, let's start the conversations. And let's just not walk away from it tomorrow and say, mm. we went to Ashimoto City, we finished. Yeah. Let's take some action points from that event tomorrow, and let's go out and start it. Okay. So we're inviting everybody. The medals of people will be there. Please. Uh, I'll represent <laughs> the school there. Yes. yes. Oh, I just mm. wanted to, to add that we started this when Ashimoto was 90 mm -hmm. in 2017. Ashimoto will be 100 in 2027. Okay. And we will have Ashimoto Speaks twice a year until then. Mm. In 2027, we'll probably go back oh, yeah. one, one, once a month. Mm. But these are things we want to talk about. Anybody who has a burning issue that he needs to be talked about, mm. talk to us. Okay. It may come up, rise up to the okay. surface, and mm. we want to talk okay. about it. But we are here to give people a chance to say what they need to say. Okay. That's what Shibuta Speaks is about. It's all it's about. open to everybody. Everybody. Okay. I, I, I remember the time for p, uh, 5 p.m., right? 5 p.m. Uh, we're uh, starting. Six, 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 six. The venue. I can't recall the venue. British Council Hall. Okay, British Council And I want to reiterate the venue. This time, it's at the British Council Hall. Mm. I'm not even going to mention the old venue, but we've changed venue. So mm. please don't go to the old no venue. venue. <laughs> it's the British Council <laughs> Hall. Mm. We we'll get there for 5, 5.30. Mm. We're going live at 6. 6. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming. Thank you. So, Accra Joanette yes. and Accra Okun. Correct. Okay, all right. Well, thank, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Thank thank you. All right. You okay. too. Nice uh, this is the AM show. We'll take a quick break. When we return, uh, we'll talk about the Ecobank Join News Habitat Fair. Uh, now, um, it's Wednesday again. Ketsi Ecobank, the Pan African Bank, uh, will bring you the AM business. Special gardens are poised to offer potential customers amazing offers at this year's Ecobank Join News Habitat Fair. Stay on for this. Thank <laughs> you.